Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, we're going to be making up some smoked whiskey bacon burgers on my pit barrel cooker. Stay tuned. You can see, look at this bark. It's crazy. Oh man, this is perfect. It helps to start with a nice sharp knife, okay? Oh my goodness. Look at that. All right, let's get started on these smoked whiskey bacon burgers. I've got two pounds of ground beef. Now this is from Midland Meat Company, so this is Wagyu beef. And I think I'm gonna go for, I don't know, maybe a third of a pound. Actually, this looks good right here. So just gonna form these patties by hand, okay? Put them on your chopping board, real simple process, kinda keep them round. As I mentioned, I'm gonna be smoking these in my pit barrel cooker. And I do have some apple wood that has been infused with whiskey and that's from VIP Barrel. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box so you can check out their products. So just spread out the patty enough. Just like that. These are about a third of a pound to half a pound. Okay, now these will cook down a little bit. There you go, that's perfect. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna get these other ones done and I'll bring you guys back. Stay All right, so we've got the patties formed. Now, as far as the rub that I'm using on the burgers, I'm gonna be using this one from Cattleman's Grill. This is their Steakhouse rub, and I tasted it out of the bottle, and it's really, really good. So just gonna apply a little bit of the rub on both sides. Really good flavor, okay? So just about that much. Now, as far as the bacon, I'm also gonna smoke this bacon now this is thick cut bacon. This is one strip. What I want to do is when you put it on the hook, double hook it. So go ahead and pass it through, pass it through one more time, and then one final time. So if you look at it, it's probably three times that you hooked it. Okay, so this is gonna hang in my pit barrel cooker just like this, get a good smoky flavor. I'm gonna finish seasoning these burgers. We'll see you guys outside, stay tuned. All right, we're outside of my pit barrel cooker. You can see my setup. I do have the hinge grate. So I've got my burgers on the flat portion of it and I'm hanging my bacon strips here. Now this is the VIP barrel whiskey infused wood that I was telling you about. So it's got some pretty good chunks in there. I'm just gonna drop a couple of them in there. It's gonna give us a good amount of smoke and some good whiskey flavor. So dropping in four small pieces. I'm gonna put the lid on. We'll see you guys back in about 10 minutes. Stay tuned. All right, so while the burgers are smoking outside, I've got my saucepan on my stove, got the flame on low. I'm gonna add one third of a cup of this mesquite whiskey. Okay. Let that warm up. You don't want it to boil, you just want it to kind of a slow simmer, if you will. Let that alcohol evaporate. Once that happens, I'm gonna add one cup of barbecue sauce. Again, I'm using the spicy barbecue sauce from Victory Lane Barbecue. This one right here. And once it's warmed up, we're gonna go outside and brush some of this sauce on our burgers. Stay tuned. All right, so the burgers have been on for about 10 minutes now. Let's check the interim temperature. Now, one thing to be careful is anytime that you're smoking bacon like this, be careful that you might get a flare up, okay? All right, let's just get an internal temperature here. Right at 138. I'm gonna go get my spatula. I'm gonna flip them and I'll bring you guys back. Stay tuned. All right, let's flip these burgers. First, let's take off the rod. Makes it a little bit easier. Now, before I flip them, I'm gonna apply this whiskey sauce that I made just over the top like that. Oh man, that sauce hitting the coals smells absolutely delicious. Okay. Now let's flip our burgers. You gotta be very careful here. Oh man, these are gonna be so good. Nice and juicy. Oh yeah, look at that.
All right, so I've got all the burgers flipped. Let's apply a little bit of sauce on the top as well. I tasted this sauce, and I gotta tell you, I can't believe that I don't use this more than I already do. Just like that. Again, these burgers are almost ready, okay? I'm thinking maybe another five minutes. There we go. I'll bring you guys back as soon as I put some cheese on them. Stay tuned. All right, so it's been another five minutes. Let's go ahead and put our cheese on there. Got some sharp cheddar cheese. Just like that. Now the internal temperature on the patties was 145, okay? And so that's about a medium rare-ish, maybe a medium. But we like our burgers well done. So you can cook the burgers how you like them. We happen to like the burgers well done. I know a lot of you guys like them medium rare, maybe a medium. So I'm gonna put the lid on without one of the rods because I want the heat to come up on this side and help us melt that cheese. Give it another five minutes or so. The bacon's still not ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the patties in five minutes and let the bacon continue to smoke. Stay tuned. All right, so the burgers are ready. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them off again. The bacon is almost ready. It needs about another five minutes or so just to get a little bit more crispy. I'm gonna take the burgers off. See you guys inside. Stay tuned. All right, our burgers are ready. Let's assemble this smoked whiskey bacon burger. I got a brioche roll. Just gonna put some mayo on both sides. Just like that. I am using Duke's mayo, which is one of the best mayos in the world, if not the best. All right, so let's get our patty, our cheesy patty, look at that. It's like the perfect size for the bun, right? Okay, got some onions. If you don't like onions, you can leave them out. Just like that. And look at our smoked bacon. If you guys have never smoked bacon, I would highly recommend it, especially on the pit barrel cooker. Okay, gonna put three strips of bacon, just like that. Cover it up, let's give it a taste. All right, let's give this burger a try. I'm gonna cut it in half. Oh man, look at that. Perfect burger. Let's give it a taste. That is money. Mm. That is a really good tasting burger. You know the chunks of whiskey infused apple wood in the pit barrel cooker? The bacon's nice and crispy. The patty is perfect, it's juicy still. This is a solid, solid burger. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box if you'd like to get any of the pit barrel accessories that I use in this video, click on that link. I'm also gonna leave a link in the description so you guys can get yourselves one of these nice chopping boards from HaleyHome.com and get a discount as well. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, Joe Smoke and Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.